For those of you who are looking forward to get starting on the image capture part of the Camera 2 APIs, sorry, but we need to tidy some things up on the camera preview part of it first. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. And if you've been following my tutorial, tutorials and you haven't already, click on the subscribe button above so you get notified of any further changes. Right, at the, in the previous tutorial, we had our preview display working. That was good, but we need to tidy things up. We need to close down the resources we created when we turn off or switch away from the application and this is a good opportunity for us to set up a background thread as well because our sessions prefer to use it and when we capture an image we want to do that in the background as well we want to get all the big tasks off the UI thread and we'll put them onto the ba uh, background thread as well so yeah let's make a start we'll just tidy up and get rid of our resources first and then we'll create the background thread okay let's see where I am okay go into the camera intent activity and let me go into on resume so I've got an on resume I normally put the on pause underneath I don't have one so I haven't yet done that but let me just complete this part sometimes our texture will view will be available to the camera 2 API camera 2 app so if that's the case we still need to set up the um, camera thank you Android Studio where have you taken me and if the texture view is available to us we can actually use the uh, texture view width and height to feed it into our setup camera settings. It's texture view here and we can get a width from that and we'll just do the same thing for the height as well. And then underneath we can just call our open camera. And that should work fine. Okay, that part's completed. Now let's clean up our resources and we'll do that on, on pause. Uh, we always call the super at the end. Right. And in here, it's probably a good idea if we create a close camera method just to try and keep things tidy up. So I'll go to open camera and I'll put the method below that. Okay, the first thing I can close will be the um, session. Um, once the session starts closing, it'll also try and close down the camera device as well. So it's just to check to see if we've got an active session anyway. So if this is not even not to know, in other words, it's still active, we need to close it. And then we can set this value to this member to null. And I believe we've closed this as we'll also close down the device, but let's put a call for closing the device anyway. It's probably good um, housekeeping, as you would say. It's going to be the same method as what we used for the capture session.
Okay, that, that's now done. So we're now tidying up the objects, the capture session and the camera device objects that are created. We're now cleaning up those when we turn off or switch away from the application. Now we're going to set up our background thread. And I'll just find a place to put that. I'll just put it underneath all my this variable here. So the first thing I need to create is a thread handler. So a thread for my handlers. And I'll call it background thread. And I also need to create a handler as well. onto that thread. I call it background handler. And of course this is going to be an OS handler. So I've created my two members and what I'm going to do is create a, um, a method called open background thread and I'll put that on the bottom. Okay, first thing I need to do is to create my thread. And I'm just going to roughly just create the name for the thread and I'll just call it um, camera to background. Okay, now I need to start my thread. And now I need to set up my handler to um, to be to work on that thread. And as the constructor will pass the looper from the background thread. Okay, that code there should be fine for having my handler running on the th thread that we created. And we're going to be passing um, our sessions and camera capture onto this background thread just to remove any additional loading from the UI thread. And we'll create the equivalent close method to this. First thing we need to call is a thread. And it's going to be quit safely. And now we need to put a catch in here. Oop. It's not a catch. That's for this join. So let me just click the help here. So basically, I want to block the current thread that's running, which possibly could be UI thread, until we've properly completed shutting down our thread. Okay, after that, I can just set the background thread to null. And I can also set the handler to null as well. Uh, 
Okay, so now we've got two methods for creating a thread and closing our thread. One will go into the on resume and one will go into on pause. It should be pretty self-explanatory which is which. So I'll do the on resume first. And just up here at the top here, I'll create the um, open background thread call to create our thread because it's going to be used by um, open camera, um, the open camera and the setup camera set capture sessions. And in the old, in the on um, pause as well, I'm going to put it into underneath the closed camera. Um, it's quite possible when I'm closing the session, it might still be pushing on request onto the background thread. So let's close the background thread towards the end. That's my thinking for that. Okay, so once we've done this and we've got our background thread running, um, we, can, we can feed our sessions onto the background thread. So let me see if I can find the sessions here. So when we create a camera session here, we had it to null. So we can now change that to our, um, our uh, background handler. Push that onto the background handler, which will mean it's going onto background thread. And just let me check open camera as well. So an open camera itself, I just click more information about this API call. So as you can see, it takes a handler as well. So, so again, we we want the callback. This will be a uh, what is it? So the state callback, we want that to happen on that um, handler as well on the background thread. Purely, let's start shifting whatever tasks we can off the UI thread. So we don't sort of get any sort of um, any performance hits on that. So let's pass our handler on there as well. And when we capture the um, image to memory, it'll also go onto the handler, onto the background thread. Okay, that's all I wanted to do at this particular part, we've now tidied up a code base, we've created a background thread, we've pushed our sessions and our open camera state callbacks and everything onto that background thread. So our code base is looking more tidier and proper, you could say. Okay, now let's try running the code and just make sure this works. And I'll record that. So. so it's running fine. We can still go for our upper gallery through here. And scrolling is quite fast on here. So we probably don't see much, but we, we are sh shifting across certain um, uh, potential time consuming tasks are now operating on our background task. So main thing is camera still working and let's switch away from that to something else and double check on there. It's, it's, it all seems to be running okay. Okay, as with the normal format of my tutorials, I'm now going to debug through the code changes we made and um, I'm going to put this in the lifestyle of the um, app itself when we turn it on to turning it off, which is... Um, useful for people new to Android. So if we go to on resume first, put in a breakpoint there, put in a breakpoint there, And that's probably what I need to do. I'll add extra breakpoints if I want to, but that, that should be fine for what I need at this moment in time. Now run debug. So 
So I've hit the first breakpoint on the on resume as the application is starting out. We're going to create our background thread. Now I'll step into that method there. So we're in there. We create the background thread. We start that thread and then we uh, set up our handler by getting the looper from the thread. Let's keep on running. Okay, I just want to, and then we're, we added these two extra lines of code here. So our text review is not available, so we're doing what we did pre, in the previous tutorial. We're um, going to wait for the text review to be inflated, so we've got the width and the height, and we can carry on from there. But this let me carry on executing the code. Camera started up. Should be able to see your host maybe there. Okay, so now let's go and switch away from this application. We've hit on pause, so on pause. We're gonna close the camera. So we're gonna close the session. And now we're gonna go into the camera device and close that as well. And now we're gonna close our background thread, quit it safely, uh, calling join so we don't want to be interrupted by the current thread, and then we'll just set our objects to null. And that's, and that's the completion of that, successfully shutting down the application, which is just as important, or maybe more important than starting an application. If you don't properly shut down the application, you've got objects or memory hanging around the system, you're going to affect the performance of the, and the behavior of the device. So not, not so good. Okay, that completes this tutorial. Um, this was just a tidy up. We will be getting back to the interesting stuff in the next tutorial. Autofocuses and exposures and all your camera buffs. There's a lot of information there. So I do need a little bit of time to digest that and work out the best approach to um, provide that in a systematic way. Anyway, that's it for this one. If you enjoy my tutorials and you haven't yet subscribed, press that subscribe button, I think it's probably below me. And that's all for this, this one, bye for now. Okay, so all I need to do is take photo and we wanna lock the focus.